All right, folks, our next venture brings us right here to hot ass Boulder City, Nevada. Little, it's about 30 miles east or so of Las Vegas. So, had to make a stop here. This is Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. Uh, been wanting to come here for a few years now, ever since I saw them on Facebook, uh, maybe four or five years ago. So, uh, Tom Devlin, a former, uh, or actually, he's still a current uh, special effects makeup artist, uh, puppeteer in the movie industry and TV industry as well. So uh, we started this museum right here in Boulder City. So we're gonna go inside and take a tour. So let's go. And before we head in, this is right out front of the museum right here. We got a hearse and it's full of pumpkins. All right, let's go inside. Oh, what in God's name happened to Captain America? This is a little room inside the, the gift shop before the museum. Look at this. There's Elizabeth getting our tickets. Another room has a little mini arcade in it. We have a real life prop over here from Gremlins 2. Look at that. So cool. It looks like Herman Munster. I think it is. Got it. Look at that. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Here we have the Frankenstein monster up high looking down. And right over across from the Frankenstein monster we have the mummy and the wolfman. He is staring at something hard. I'm not sure what he's looking at but That's the actual creature suit from Creature from the Black Lagoon. And it says over there on to the left on that uh, whiteboard, that white uh, picture frame over there, that this was actually Tom Devlin's favorite creature suit. This one right here. So he had to have it for his museum. And a horror museum's not complete without, of course, The Exorcist. Well, a scene from The Exorcist, Linda Blair. Planet of the Apes. Right here next to the uh, Planet of the Apes figure is the Xenomorph alien. Really cool. Over to the right of this, this is an actual screen-used suit from a movie called Poultrygeist. 
Night of the Chicken Dead. This is a screen used prop from the clown movie Killjoy. Right there, that's the real deal. If you haven't noticed, these are a lot of B movies. Um, I'm naming off right now. This is the B movie section. There are some cool things here. This is all from the movie Killjoy. That's Killjoy right there. If you haven't seen the movie, rent it. It's okay. You may need a few drinks though. Here's some classic B movies. Heck, they may even be C movies. Screen used prop from the Evil Bong 666 movie. I think Tommy Chong's in that. Another screen used prop from Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong. And these are actually from Puppet Master. If you haven't seen any of the Puppet Master movies, if you have, you'll recognize these guys, especially that one in the back. Some more Puppet Master props. Some of these are the actual puppets used in the movie. There he is. That's Blade. some actual props from the movie called Ouija's Halloween Night. Right there. Never heard of it. But these guys were in it. And if you know these guys, you'll know they're from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I hate to admit, I have not seen that one. But these are them. Two of the clowns, at least. And are you a big fan of They Live, the John Carpenter classic from 1988? Well, if not, you should obey. It's a great movie. This is another trauma produced movie, Toxic Avenger Part 2. I've never seen any of the Toxic Avenger films. There he is, the Toxic Avenger. We kind of floated over here to the serial killer section. Everybody knows this guy, that's Michael Myers. The Leprechaun from the movie Leprechaun. And to the right of him we have Ash from the Evil Dead. How cool is that? And over here, we have Chucky. Oh, this is cool. We have a critter from the movie Critters. Jason Voorhees he looks like he's a bit down in the dumps. This is the Wes Craven section. A little tribute to him. I mean, if you didn't know, if you don't know Wes Craven, I mean, he created some of the classics. Nightmare on Elm Street. The Scream franchise. If you haven't seen The Hills Have Eyes, that's a great movie. Give it a watch. Highly recommend it. And there he is. From The Hills Have Eyes, Michael Berryman. Not the real Michael Berryman, but... There he is. 
One of my favorite horror movies, 1986's Return of the Living Dead. The Tar Man. And the original It, played by Tim Curry from the miniseries. And this is one thing I would love to have at the house. Well, Creepshow is one of my all-time favorites. One day Elizabeth will let me. She's in here with me. Maybe I can talk her into it in here. We'll see. And last but not least, there's Beetlejuice. Tell them everybody au revoir as they exit the museum. So we just completed the Monster Museum and I gotta say, it's a small museum. I mean, probably 10, 12 minutes to go through it total, but totally worth it if you're a horror fan. Great uh, original uh, costumes, there's some props in there that, you know, if you're a fan of horror, you'll just love seeing in person. So, highly recommend if you may come to Vegas, come on down to Boulder City, man. It's only uh, 30 miles east of Vegas. It's worth the trip to check out Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. Two thumbs up. <laughs>